In this video, we're going to be speaking more specifically about poor water pressure, which is this term U that we've already referred to. So what is poor water pressure? Well, this is the pressure in water, and for our case, this is going to be within the void space of a soil mass. And how do we track this? Well, we what we're interested in in terms of a soil mechanics and, and geotechnical engineering application is, um, is the groundwater table that's underneath the ground surface, okay? So let's write this down. The groundwater table, which we sometimes call, I'm gonna say AKA, called the phreatic surface, is the location of the water level within a soil profile okay so let's look at a profile view or a maybe a side view is what we may have called it in a previous class so let's say this is our ground surface and we're gonna look at the so a side view but underneath the ground. So if our groundwater table, I'm gonna draw it in blue here, is right here. You can make a note here, this is the groundwater table, GWT. And then, you know, below that you can, you have, you know, more soil basically. So what are we looking at here? Well. All of this is soil. All of this is soil. I mean, you have soil throughout this entire thickness, okay? It's just some of it has water in it, hence the groundwater table. Now, the zone below the groundwater table is called the saturated zone. Saturated zone. And based on its name, you can probably deduce we assume a degree of saturation of 1.0. Okay, so uh, S is equals one is assumed. Okay, now above the groundwater table, this region is called the Vados zone. And in this region that's above the groundwater table, your degree of saturation is not equal to one. It's, it's something less than one. For most calculations, we assume it's zero. We assume it's completely dry, but we are gonna look at some cases where it's not uh, completely dry. But nevertheless, it's, it's not saturated, okay? So here's what we, uh, some underlying assumptions when we're doing these kind of calculations. The pore water pressure which again, we typically use the letter U, is zero at and above the groundwater table, okay? Now, what about below the groundwater table? Below the groundwater table, the pore water pressure, which again we call U, is computed as U equals H sub P times gamma water. And we should already know that where H sub P is our pressure head. Now, what is the pressure head in a soil profile? This is the height of water above a specified point. 
okay? So when we are calculating pore water pressure or we're thinking about pressure head, we are doing that with respect to a specific point beneath the ground surface and beneath the groundwater table, okay? So let's look at a quick numerical example. Example. Okay, in this example, I want us to compute the pore water pressure at points A and B. And here is our soil profile. There's the ground surface. Here is the groundwater table, okay? And then we're gonna have a whole lot of soil underneath it. We're gonna say the height of soil above the groundwater table is five feet. And then at four feet below the groundwater table, we have a point A and then another two feet underneath the groundwater table uh, over here somewhere, we have a point B. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, we wanna find the pore water pressure at these two points, point A and point B. Now first, you have to ask yourself, does this top five feet come into play in this example? Well, the answer is no. Remember, pore water pressure is defined as the height of water above the point of interest times the unit weight of water. So we have two points of interest here. We have a point A and then we have a deeper point B, okay? So let's write solution. So let's start with pore water pressure at point A. It's gonna be the pressure head at point A times the unit weight of water. All right, so what is the pressure head at point A. Well, remember, look back in your notes from just a minute ago, the pressure head at a given point is the height of water above that particular point. So what's the height of water above, above point A? Well, it's just this four feet, okay? That's how much water is sitting above point A. So we're gonna say this equals four feet times 62.4 PCF. And so when we crank that through in our calculators, we'll get this is about 250 PSF, okay? So remember, you have feet times pounds per cubic feet, so you're left with pounds per square feet. So to four sig figs, though, this is 249.6 PSF, so I went ahead and rounded to 250 PSF. What about the pore water pressure at point B right here? Well, again, um, same basic equation, U sub B equals H P at point B times the unit weight of water. So we're going to take the height of water above point B, and then we're going to multiply it by the unit weight of water. Well, what is that? Well, again, what's the height of water above point B? It's six feet. And then we're going to say times 62.4 PCF, and we punch that into our calculator, and we get um, 374.4, but just a three sig fix, 374 PSF, okay? Um, now, a couple other things to remind ourselves first. This five feet of soil above the groundwater table did not come into play because again, we we're looking for the poor water pressure, which is the pressure due to water above a particular point. Next, the distance, the horizontal distance between point A and point B does not come into play, okay? The horizontal distance between two points when you're talking about poor water pressure is not a function of poor water pressure. Poor water pressure has to do with the height of water above a particular point. That's it, okay? So uh, that's gonna conclude this video. And in our upcoming video, we're gonna talk a little bit more about uh, some other aspects of this topic.